One time my friend Helmut told me, how would you feel if we print some leaflets into French? Because we have some French, we have, we have a lot of these French prisoners of war in Hamburg and they are entitled to know the truth too. I said, Helmut, first of all, you don't speak French and second, that's too dangerous, leave it alone. Don't, don't try it. And Helmut said, no, we have a young man in our office staff, his name is Werner Kranz, he speaks fluently French, I will ask him. He approached Werner Kranz and says, Werner, he said, will you do me a favor? Sure, what can I do? And he said, I, I like to have something translated into French. He said, yeah, okay, give it to me. And he gave him one of the leaflets, you know. And that young man read it and the more he read, the madder he got. He gave it back to him like this, no way. He said, are you nuts? You know what that is? This is defeatismus. No, he said, I want nothing to do with it, you know. Okay, so this little conversation was watched in the corner. There was a glass booth where a, uh, the party observer from the office staff had his little office in there. He had to watch out for patriotism among the office workers because it was a government office. And he saw that conversation. So he said, uh, Werner, come here, I want to talk to you. And he went in and he said, what, what was that all with, with Hübner? And uh, he said, oh, I took care of it. Forget it, it's, it's okay. He said, no, I want to know. He said, no, I, it, it, don't worry about it. And then he said, I order you to tell me. He could, I mean, he was a big man in the Nazi party. He said, I order you to tell me. So he told him and he said, this and this happened and, and I'm, I don't want nothing to do with it. And, Heinrich Mons was his name. He said, oh, I'm interested. This is interesting. I never saw anything like that. Tell him you do it and let me read one too. You know, and he said, okay. So Werner Kranz went back to Helmut and said, I changed my mind. I will do it. I don't know if Helmut had a little warning. He said, well, I bring you one. Well, where's the one you had? It's destroyed, you know. So, and then Helmut let this young man wait for about five, six days, and then he bought him one. This young man didn't even read it. He bought it right away to Mr. Mons, you know. And Mr. Mons read it, and while he was reading this, he grabbed the telephone and dialed the Gestapo. You know, and the Gestapo was there 10 minutes later.